Hello friends, welcome to Sandeep's Biology. In this video, I will be talking about taxonomic allied and I will be discussing about two taxonomic allied. One is herbarium and second botanical gardens. I already discussed about introduction of taxonomic allied in my previous video. If you want to watch that video, then link is present in i button. In that video, I discussed about why do we need to do taxonomic studies what is the importance of taxonomical studies right let us see about two taxonomical aids these are herbarium and botanical gardens in this video so i have already written the important points about these taxonomical aids and herbarium is having collection of dead plant specimen while botanical garden is having collection of living plants right so let us start first herbarium herbarium is having collection of plant specimen which are dried pressed and preserved on seed right so these are having collection and the plant specimen are dried pressed and preserved on seed which is called herbarium seed right so first the plant the part of the plant is dried then it is pressed because we have to preserve it on a seed that's why we need to press it and then it is preserved properly on a seed and these seeds are arranged according to universally accepted system of classification for example they are arranged according to the family or genus right so that one can find it easily so these are this is herbarium seed and one label is present here and let us see what are the informations that are mentioned on the label so label contains date and place of collection then English, local and botanical name of that particular plant and the name of the family of that plant and collector's name. So this information is present here on herbarium seed, right? And the herbarium provides quick referral system for taxonomical studies, right? If you want to study one plant and you want to know where this plant can be found, so you go to herbarium and you can find the place and where this plant was, was collected. So you can easily refer to the plant species and it provides quick referral system for the taxonomical studies. Right. Let us move to another taxonomical aid that is botanical garden. And as I told you earlier, botanical garden is having collection of living plants. These plants are grown for identification purpose. So you can easily identify as it is a living plant, whole plant. Here the part of a plant is there, but in botanical garden, the whole living plant is there. So you can identify, you can study the characters of the plant, right? And of course, there is label so that we can easily know the name of the plant and on the label botanical name and family is mentioned right so one can easily identify the plant there are names of few botanical gardens which are mentioned in ncrt textbook first is royal botanical garden q england this botanical garden is having world's largest collection of living plants right and the second and third botanical garden are located in india that is Indian Botanical Garden, Havra, India. And third is National Botanical Research Institute, Lucknow, India. So this topic is important from NEET point of view, right? From these taxonomic lights, questions can be asked from herbarium. The, this part is important, right? What information is found on label, right? So you have to remember these points and you have to remember these the name of these gardens, right? So from this, the questions can be asked. From next videos, I'll be talking about the remaining taxonomical lights, right? So I hope this video is helpful. If you are watching this video till here, please hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.